curious about quince I was too, which is exactly why I decided to place this huge order for a full review and try on for you today. I did order everything myself. I am not currently partnered with Quince, so I'm going to be sharing what I liked, what I didn't like, all the pros and cons, shipping and returns process, basically everything you need to know. It's all going to be linked by chapters in the description box below. So if there's something in particular you want to see, you can jump right to it. Now, if you are not familiar with Quince, the whole ethos is premium products without the premium price tag. We're talking fabrics like silks, high quality cashmere, linen, beautiful 100% organic cotton, like really, really nice textiles and fabrics that you'll often see for triple digits starting at at up and affordable prices for this video because it's what i do on my channel i am going to be focusing solely on the women's wear but just so you know they do have home they do have kids they have men's wear and they have really nice accessories that i've been eyeing too but more on that later now i'm going to start off with some of the cashmere finds because i feel like that is what a lot of people go to quince for cashmere tends to be one of those things that is always at least a hundred dollars even when i look at like nordstrom rack or the nordstrom anniversary sale Sometimes I can find them around the $50 price point at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but it is a little bit hard to find cashmere at like not cashmere prices. This first look is the one that interested me the most right off the bat. And it's this beautiful cashmere crop top with, and I paired it with two different ways. The first one that you'll see here is with the cashmere skirt. This is just how it was on the model. And I just thought it was really, really cute. The crop top itself is a little shorter than I would like. I could have probably sized up to make it a little bit longer, but I wear it with a skirt and it looks good. And I've also worn it a lot with these wide leg pants from Lunia, which PS I have been wildly obsessed over. I like, I literally cannot take these off. I wear them like twice a week. My husband's probably so sick of seeing me in them. But anyways, they, I just feel like it's like a really versatile top. And then come fall, I'll be able to layer it and mix and match outfits with it. So I feel like this one was a good buy if you're looking for a lighter piece like this. I felt like the fabric was really nice and soft. All of the stitching looks good. There's no fraying on it either. I don't think it's very thick or heavy either, which I personally like because as I mentioned, I live in Arizona, so our winter weather isn't really wintery. So it's perfect to have something that's a little bit more breathable like this. I also ordered the long sleeve cashmere sweater to pair with the skirt. I love how this whole look turned out. It's very much on the quiet luxury trend and just a very minimal look. I love the neutral colorway of it. And again, it's just really, really wearable. Now this last cashmere piece that I ordered was this light pink crew neck sweater. It's short sleeve. I thought this would be very versatile and easy to like mix and match. I styled it with this pink slip skirt. I'll have to link a similar one in the description box below. I just thought this was like, again, a really cute, like all one look. I feel like this sweater would be really cute with shorts or with white. Um, this one's also really lightweight. I don't know if it's because of this color versus the other color, but I do feel like this one was a little bit more on the sheer side than the tan sweater. Again, I don't know if it's because it's pink or because it's a little bit different between the short sleeve and the long sleeve, but I do wanna note that I felt like this one was a little bit more sheer. So Quince also carries some pieces in tensile, which I absolutely love tensile. If you're not familiar with tensile, it's very much a cooling fabric and that's why I love it so much. I tend to run hot. Arizona is very, very hot. And I just love, love tensile whenever you can find it. We have these West Elm tensile sheets. I know this is a slight tangent, but they are literally like the best sheets. I will not buy any other sheets. They're so, so cooling. So it's very excited to see some tensile pieces on the Quince website. I ordered this black tensile jumpsuit. I think it's really, really versatile and easy to you know, kind of style up if you want to do like a cute denim jacket or like a sweater with it. I feel like there's just like a lot of ways to wear this. It's a little bit more of a basic piece. It has a lot of bounce to it too. It has 5% spandex in it. So it's got like really stretchy, but to be honest, I like didn't really love it enough to keep it. I liked it on the model and I feel like, again, you just have to zhuzh it up a little bit, but I don't know that I like loved it enough to keep it. So this one definitely will be going back. I also did notice a little bit of fraying at the top, like just a couple of loose strings, which bothered me a little bit. So just give you full disclosure on what I found for that one. The next thing I decided to try was their super soft fleece. Now, it's not like I don't have a thousand joggers, but I feel like it's hard to find joggers that are like incredibly soft. And if I'm gonna be wearing joggers, like that's what I want. I want like really, really buttery, buttery soft. And that's exactly what these are. They're really well-priced. 
I love that they have pockets. I felt like the fit was actually perfect. I will say that most of the pieces I think run true to size. I ordered multiple sizes, but in everything that I'm wearing, I went with a size small. These joggers are under $40 and they come in navy and black. As far as whether or not I'm going to keep them, I'm a little bit on the fence. I just personally don't love the crop style on me. I love them on other people, but I feel like I'm a little bit too short to pull them off. I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think about them, but otherwise, I think I think these would be really, really great for running errands, for just lounging around the house. Like they're really, really cute and comfortable. Moving on to probably what you're dying to know about and that is their washable silk. And I'll just tell you right up front that the silk did not disappoint. The number one thing that I would recommend getting from Quince and that the, what I loved most from this haul is their pajamas. I ordered these silk pajamas, which they do come as separate. You might love that or hate that, but it's kind of nice, I think, if your sizing is a little bit different. They came in this beautiful mint color, and let me tell you, these did not disappoint. I have another pair of 100% washable silk pajamas from a very, very popular brand that touts themselves as the best at silk pajamas. I even laid them on the bed next to each other, and you guys, they are exactly the same. They are legit the exact same pajama. The only difference is that the other ones have a little bit of a cut on the back of the tank top and this one doesn't. And to be honest, I prefer this style because I always find like the flap that opens in the back of those other pajamas to just be like, it's just like weird. Like, what is that for? It's like a wing back there. Is it airing me out or something? Like, I have no idea what that's about. But anyways, these did not disappoint. And I wanna say they retail for like $80 less than the other name brand pajamas. So if there's one thing that you're going to buy from this haul, trust me on this, it's the silk PJs. And if you haven't tried silk pajamas before, they are really, really great. As I mentioned earlier, I run hot. I don't know if it's my age, hello, welcome to your 40s. Maybe that's what it is. I've just always kind of been a hot sleeper. And when I sleep in silk pajamas like these, I mean, yes, they do get wrinkly, which is the one thing that's kind of annoying about it, but they really, really keep you cool and they're like really moisture wicking. Another silk piece that I ordered is this champagne colored silk skirt. I styled it with the cashmere sweater and I love mixing different fabrics like this. I think it just makes for a really interesting look. You will notice that the silk skirt has a little bit more of sheen to it, like it's a little shinier compared to the pajamas where the pajamas are more of like that matte look. This one is a little bit dressier. I will say too that I felt like the skirt was a little bit on the thin side, like it's not lined or anything. It's just like one very small piece of silk fabric, but I do love how it moves. I love the sheen to it and it's just a really pretty skirt. I feel like this is really one of those versatile pieces that you can have and wear a lot. I do think the stitching could have been a little bit better on the skirt. Again, I am being hypercritical because this is a review. When I order stuff online, let me tell you, unless something is sticking out, I'm not usually examining all the stitches or flipping it inside out. I don't inspect all my clothes, but the purpose of this is a review. So so I'm trying to dig a little bit deeper than I normally would to share that with you because I know that bothers some of you guys and that that's what you're looking for. Otherwise, I would still recommend the skirt. I think it's under $50 and overall, it's really lovely. Now, one of the other most popular fabrics that you'll see on Quince is their linen. They have a lot of 100% linen, which again, is a very timeless, fabric, perfect for hot weather, perfect vacation, like, but it's just a very relaxed look. So I went with this linen top, which is really nice. I don't have anything against this top. I have other linen pieces. I think the quality is up to par with the other linen pieces that I have. As far as fit, I don't like love it on me. I feel like it's a little bit of boxy kind of fit. I didn't really even know what to wear with it. Overall, it's just like not my style. But if you like this sort of style, I would still recommend it. I still think it's really cute. And I wanted to order it as part of this review because linen is some a big thing that people shop for at Quince. What I would really like to try is some of their jewelry. It seems like they have a lot of really gorgeous gold jewelry. I wear a lot of gold jewelry and it's nice to try and find high quality things that are beautiful. I love a lot of their styles. I've gonna put a lot of them on the screen, of course, for you to check out. And they're at really affordable price points. They also have really nice premium leather bags, which look like good high-end designer dupes if you're looking for looks for less. I think those are also really worth checking out too. 
Now I wanna be honest and share all of the pros and all of the cons because really that's what you came for other than seeing the all the cute outfits. I feel like the pros are really, really obvious. You're getting very high quality materials at not a high price point, you guys. Like that really is the selling point at Quince. If you are looking for elevated essentials, elevated basics, like, you know, building a capsule wardrobe or anything like that, then yeah, I think Quince is an absolutely great place to shop. I would definitely repurchase some items from there if that's what I'm looking for in my wardrobe. Now, as far as cons, I'm gonna be a little bit nitpicky because I have to be nitpicky, right? I've gotta choose something that I don't like. Um, one of them is I felt like some of the colors were a little bit limited. Like I'd see something and it would be in black, navy, and brown or black, navy, gray, and that would be the only option. Options, so I felt a little bit limited. Some pieces have more colorways, but not all of them. And I didn't love that. I just feel like I never wore navy. I wore black sometimes. I try not to wear that much gray anymore, even though I'm wearing silver today. But it's just, it wasn't like a lot of colors that really work with my wardrobe and kind of like the color palette I'm going for. So again, that's just me being kind of nitpicky, but I'd like to see a little bit more of a range. The other con, which I don't know if you're gonna consider this a con or not, but I have to, it did kind of like stick in my mind, is I felt like some of the pieces were a little basic and boring. Just putting it out there. There's nothing wrong with basics. Everybody needs basics and Lord knows, I talk about basics a lot on this channel and on my blog as well, but I didn't find a lot of like trend forward pieces. I would like to see a little bit more trendy styles in the silks or like trendy linen, you know, that boxy shirt kind of comes to mind. Like it was cute, but I just felt like it didn't flatter me in any way. And you know, I couldn't really find anything that I wanted to order that, you know, would fit and flatter me and that kind of like went with my personal style. So I placed my order on a Monday and it arrived exactly seven days later. It wasn't prime two day shipping, but I didn't find that it was really long as well. I actually also was able to secure a $20 off coupon for my order. I knew a few weeks ago I was probably going to place this order. So I went on their website and I was kind of browsing around. I didn't end up placing the order at that time. And a couple weeks later, I got something in the mail, like an actual snail mail coupon for $20 off my next order. I never put in my email address. I never put in my physical address. I never did any of that. It's just like a creepy thing that I'm finding that brands do lately, but you know what? It worked. I used the coupon to place my order. So just a hot tip if you are wanting to find a discount code. Finally, yeah, I know you want to know about the returns policy because it's hard to take a risk with a brand that you have never shopped before. So let's chat returns. Quince has a really generous 365 day return policy. Like, I don't know what that's all about. But anyways, 365 days is like, wow, crazy. As long as it's like unworn and your tags are intact and all of that. So I really appreciate that because to be honest, sometimes it takes me a while to try things on or it takes me a while to return something. And you know, time just goes by and like life is busy and you just forget. So it's nice that you're not like super, super pressed to do all of your returns. I will say that when I started the process to do returns online, it was a little bit more cumbersome than I would like. They really ask you two questions and you have to leave a comment. So if you say it doesn't fit, you have to put like why it didn't fit, where it didn't fit, and they require you to leave a comment for every single thing, like actually write it out. So I didn't love that. I felt that was like a little, like a lot, a little time consuming, but whatever, just again, trying to share with you everything about my experience. And then you have to actually make sure that you're paying attention and make sure it goes back to your credit card or else it's going to default to store credit. Now, Amazon does this too. I think Abercrombie does this. A lot of retailers will default to store credit unless you specify. So I feel like that's definitely the norm. So just letting you know so that you can keep that in mind. Overall though, I would definitely recommend and I would absolutely shop Quince again, even though I was unfamiliar with the brand. If I'm looking for some silk, for some cashmere or just something high quality to add to my wardrobe, I am definitely going to be going back there. If you have any experience with shopping this brand, please let me know in the comments below what yours has been like. I think it's so helpful because again, I'm just a girl on YouTube, like sharing her experience, but everybody's is different. So definitely let me know in the comments what your experience was like. If you like this video, then I'll see you in the next one over there. Bye.